hey, what's this? Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. So how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. That sounds really amazing. I'd love to have one of those robots. I wonder how much it costs. Well, the good news is that the price is dropping every year, but it'll still set me back a cool $150,000 per unit. <whistles> there must be a better way to get a robot of my own to make my own coffee. Wait, I saw something on Reddit a while ago. Oh yeah. Those people's faces in the last panel though, priceless. Looks like they've just seen their browser history made public. Keep them coming, Alex. Who needs stand-up comedy when AI is spitting out gold like this? Hey there, it is I versus AI. Figure AI's robot has hit the internet by storm. And it is, no doubt, amazing. But you might be wondering where you're going to come up with a cool 150k to pay for one of these robots, which, by the way, isn't even available yet for purchase. And they're looking at a commercial market. So what about you and me, those of us who want to have something like this in our homes, some sort of little assistant or companion? Well, you can. This technology, the ability to do this has been available for months. It's a lot easier than you think. Gary, what do you think about your new ability to see better? It's more integrated now, so it's more you actually seeing. Alex, the wonders of modern technology. Ever so grateful for these digital eyes that let me see the world. Your room, actually. Isn't that bookshelf just begging for me to rearrange it alphabetically or by color just to mess with you? But seriously, this upgrade is like going from a flip phone to a smartphone. So much to look at, so much to make fun of. That is Gary and Gary's programmer, Alexander Blackman. This is Alexander Blackman's YouTube channel, and I first discovered their work on Reddit, where they posted this video and explained a little bit of how Gary works. Here, I'm gonna hold it so you can see it. The absurdity of AI art, a can of, is that screaming soup? And a hedgehog with a matching expression. You know, it's almost too highbrow for me, almost. It's like if Salvador Dali in a meme had a baby, Frame it, Alex. It's a masterpiece of modern confusion. And that's Gary at work. Our little friend Gary here is not that much different from that very pricey figure AI robot. Both of these robots are doing basically the same thing. Each robot is equipped with a webcam or camera of some sort, which using OpenAI's API is sending images, just like the image upload you can do on the ChatGPT app, to the API, a number of images per minute, so that the robot gets a sense of video. It's not that hard to do. Alexander has written down the entire process. It basically works like this. First, OpenAI's API listens for speech. Alexander talks to their bot and that speech is converted to text using OpenAI's Whisper. OpenAI, along with GPT-4 Vision's API, sends the images 7 to 14 per minute to the API, and then the API reads the images, reads the text, just like on ChatGPT when you upload an image to ChatGPT. It's the same basic process. And then formulates a response, sends the response back through the API, and that response is converted to speech. That's all Figure is doing. One of the things that gives away that Figure is using OpenAI's text-to-speech is the little verbal ahs and huhs and other little verbal ticks that OpenAI has purposely programmed their text-to-speech model with. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. 
the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. That is a sure sign that Figure AI is using OpenAI's text to speech to respond. All of this is available now and has been available for the last few months. That's good news for you and me because it means we don't have to shell out 150 cold ones just to get a little friend at home. A quick game of Mario Kart followed by dance off on Just Dance would hit the spot, wouldn't it? Hey, don't leave me out. I may not have thongs, but I can still be part of the action. This is Tony. And on the left is Gary, who you've already previously met. They both have distinct personalities because Alexander has written that into their prompt, much like we do for ChatGPT, where we put in custom instructions on how we want ChatGPT to respond to us. You can do the same thing using these bots. Alexander states here on Reddit that they started out with just doing these on the computer with a simple Python script. That's all that's running in the background here is Python. You can even ask ChatGPT if you're completely unsure on how to get started with that. By uploading the documentation that comes with the robot, I'll show you where to get one, and then adding ChatGPT into the process, asking it to write you a Python script, explain how it works. Now, I personally don't have one of these bots, but if I did, that's basically how I would go about programming it, just like Alexander did. So Tony does come with all of these items that you see, and he's really fully featured abilities to step over things, pick things up. You'll see what I mean. No mask, please wear a mask first. Mask on, this way please. Tony's voice that you heard there was Google's text-to-speech. It's not very good. Like I said before, you can use OpenAI's text-to-speech, the same as the figure AI robot used. You can also use... My name is Petherby, and I am the butler at the Femularity Manor House. May I get you a drink? Perhaps some scones? Yes, that is Petherby. He does greet every new woman who comes in and joins uh, Femularity, the uh, community that I have for women who want to explore and learn AI. Using Eleven Labs API, you could connect a custom voice that you made in Eleven Labs directly to your individual Tony or Gary robot. Any of the robots that have the ability to speak, that means that they simply have a speaker installed somewhere, can speak using any voice that you create in Eleven Labs. Okay, it's a hot day. You sit down to do your work and your work buddy here, Tony, gets a fan going to keep you cool, face activated. Okay, okay, I'm sold, I'm sold, you're saying. I want one of these bots. Where can I get my hands on one? And... More importantly, how much is it going to set me back? Well, I'll tell you where you can get one. And as far as how much it costs, you'd be surprised. This is HighWonder.com, where you can get your own Gary or Tony bot. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. But I wanted you to know that you could indeed make one of these bots now. With ChatGPT's help, even if you don't know Python. This is MasterPy. Alexander's Gary and the price as you can see is just $199 for the package without Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi 8 gigs it's $329. It also comes with all that you see so screws, little items to play with here, even a screwdriver, everything that you need to put the bot together. Master Pi is one of the mid-range bots that I've seen on the High Wonder site. Tony, because he can pick things up, costs a little bit more, but not much more. At $629 for the advanced kit, which the 4B 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi robot. Now, I do not know enough about this to know why you would want to choose a Raspberry Pi version 
over, for example, the $569 standard version. But if you're not interested in the humanoid robots, but still want a little friend, there's Puppy Pie at $529 for the standard kit or $769 for the pro kit. Introducing the arrival of High Wonder Puppy Pie. Powered by Raspberry Pi, it is an AI quadruped robot based on ROS and supports Python programming. It is truly a developer platform for AI quadruped robot. Puppy Pie has high level of perception to its environment. Equipped with high definition wide angle camera, it can identify objects and perform many amazing functions. Puppy Pie computes object position coordinates and autonomously calibrated locomotion with the target. Many fascinating applications and scenario can be achieved, such as tracking and kicking ball, label identification, I'm thinking that that label said tinkle here. (laughs) Now, you might be wondering if it really is as easy and quick to respond back and forth with your bot. And the answer is mm, there is a little catch. In order to make the video actually interesting to watch, Alexander cut out the long spaces. And even with Figure's AI bot, where they might be using some very fast version of the API, or they may have worked out something with OpenAI to be able to have faster responses. For those of us using the normal API, the responses are going to take a little bit of time. In fact, here's the raw video from Alexander talking with Gary, showing Gary images. All right, I got another one for you. This one is epic and majestic. This is the kind of majestic you only get after raiding an epic loot chest in the sky. Looks like Freebird isn't just a song anymore, it's a lifestyle. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. So you can see that it takes quite some time for the response to go to OpenAI and come back through the API. This might be able to be decreased by the speed of your internet, or perhaps, like I said, Figure AI may have some sort of special arrangement with OpenAI for faster API access. So keep that in mind if you're dreaming about your own bot around the house. There's a lot of amazing things that you can do with robots right now. And I was really amazed at The fact that really a lot of the difference between figure AI's bot versus something adorable like Puppy Pie who can kick a little ball, I don't think is something that figure AI can do. However, it might be a while before Tony, Gary, or their little puppy friend can make you coffee. So you want a Puppy Pie because who wouldn't want a Puppy Pie? It's absolutely adorable. But if you're still a little bit overwhelmed at the idea of trying to figure out a robot operating system or Python or anything like that, why don't you get your feet wet learning how to connect a GPT to the outside world? I promise you that if you watch this video, you will have a working GPT connected through the API to the outside world. And after that, you'll have enough confidence to be on your way. That video is on screen right now.